What's up, Deer Nation, and welcome back to DOD TV. In this episode, we got Tom Ware and Scott Manifold with a two-in-one sit on a blustery cold day. Scott on the Traditions muzzleloader and Tom on the PSE bow. With high winds in their advantage, I have high hopes that one or maybe both of them can end their day on a great success. Fingers crossed. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the Bullseye Camera System by SME. See your point of impact on your target from up to a mile away with this easy to use wireless target camera. We've got our first south wind after a bunch of north. It's been brutally cold. Today is only cold. So south wind, cold temperatures, northern Missouri, Tom Ware and I. Tonight, maybe we can get it done. I got my bow and he's got the traditions. Last day of the season for the late muzzleloader season here in Missouri. So this is our last night to get it done with the traditions. So we're gonna grab that first. Yeah, buddy. The access to this stand is pretty neat. We walk down through these cedar trees and we're coming in from the east. We're hidden amongst all these cedars. We're able to get in quietly and it, it just works beautifully. It is January 2nd and we're perched here in a box blind in Missouri. It is still very cold, but it is warmed up. It's between 13 and 15 degrees, which is warm compared to what it's been. So I actually still have two bow tags left here in Missouri because I missed one big buck. Scott has got a gun tag that he bought just two days ago, and uh, this is the last day of the late muzzleloader gun season. So he's hoping to fill that tag tonight. But if we do get a buck in close, I got the PSC for backup. A parade of bucks come out, and we're trying to identify which one's the oldest and which one Scott might target. After Scott shoots that big buck with his traditions, it lands in the middle of the food plot, face up with his antlers in the ground. I've never seen that in my entire life before. And we have a nice Missouri buck down on the last day of season. Last day of gun season. Oh, thank you for being here. So we didn't know what was gonna happen, but we knew it was early, and we knew the power of food late season, more deer were gonna be coming to that food source. It's kind of going to be interesting to see how these deer react to Scott's buck laying out there. Antlers down, nose up. Will they run or will they... I don't think I've ever come across a situation like this. Have you? No. Man, no. It'll be interesting. He's working in, and luckily he's looking at Scott's buck, and he's kind of veering away from that deer because he knew something wasn't right, and it worked out to our advantage. It brought him right by our blind. I'm gonna get these windows open. Now. Easy, easy, easy. You got it. After Scott shoots that big buck with his traditions, we didn't know what was gonna happen, but we knew it was early. And all of a sudden, Scott looks up and says, here comes another deer. He's working in, and luckily he's looking at Scott's buck. 
So it allows me to get the windows open, and now I'm ready to make the shot. Yes. Yes. We doubled the job. Yes. What a night. What a night. We doubled. That's the power of food late season. We're in here, it's January 2nd. We're the only place around probably for a mile or two with any food. Let's go get them. <laughs> Look at that buck. January 2nd, Boak Hill in Missouri on food. That's how we did it. Food, food, food. I always am a big advocate of hunting food sources. And that's what killed this deer tonight. They were coming into the food. We actually put structure around the outside so we actually target where they'll enter and exit the fields. And things like that, just a little extra effort and strategy is what helps us kill more deer just by doing a little planning. And that's what's fun of it, managing the deer and planning it out and figuring out how to kill him. He was on the hit list and we we're able to get it done tonight. We're actually headed back to Iowa. We are on a roll. Frozen food, late season, extreme temperatures, you can't beat it. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of Bow Madness and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.